guest is Dirk Moore, Director of Public Relations here at Emory & Henry. And Dirk, we're here today to talk about GoWasps.com, which is the sports news website for the campus, uh, now official, I think. Yep. Um, it, you go to ehc.edu and you go to athletics and it takes you to GoWasps. Yep. Uh, it's been up since late 2008 and we're here to talk about it with you today, so thanks for coming on the show. You bet. Glad to be here. What was the inspiration behind GoWasps.com and, and who was uh, the visionary that kind of brought it to fruition? Well, I think it came about mostly through conversations that I had with um, Nathan Grable, the sports information director. We had been looking at the current site and really decided that we needed to upgrade it, especially because we were doing so much in terms of facilities on campus and we needed some a site that sort of reflected the the new look we were having in terms of facilities and the new enthusiasm that was uh, resulting from all that. And the site does have a very new age feel to us. Tell us a little bit about the format. Well, it was designed to kind of look um, like a fan site, you know, something you might see uh, at a if you were visiting the site of a professional sports organization or a, maybe a Division I school. It's very much um, geared toward the Emory and Henry fan of athletics, um, and that would contrast with the portion of the website that is devoted to the Emory and Henry student athlete. So we wanted to be able to push both um, emphases, both on the student athlete and on the student or on the athletics at the college, and so we sort of took the sites in two different directions. One focused on the student athletes and one's focused on the sports and serving the fans of those sports. What was the goal behind the creation of the site? What did you want to accomplish? Well, um, part of it was to sort of help um, feed on the momentum of fan enthusiasm that was coming as a result of the uh, new construction that we were seeing on campus for our athletic program. And the other one was just to um, uh, get more people engaged with the college through athletics. Uh, everyone from fans to prospective students to alumni, anybody who wanted, had an interest in sports, but could also then see having through that an interest in Emory and Henry. Well, with all the site has to offer, what do you think distances it from the competition? You know, uh, I'm sure on the Division Three level, there aren't too many sites like this one right here. As you mentioned, it's got the feel of a Division One fan site or a professional fan site. Well, was that kind of the concept when when you guys dreamt it up? And and does how how different is that from the other sites? I guess. The question. Well, I think that um, what distinguishes it is that it does look like more of a, a Division One site, and I don't think you see that among a lot of Division Three schools. But also, what distinguishes it is, I think, the the separate emphasis on the student athlete and the uh, and on the, the the sports. We really were in the, doing like so many um, uh, Division three schools and trying to meld that together, trying to bring the uh, an emphasis on student athletes and, and, and in Division three schools into the discussion about um, athletics. And it doesn't seem to work very well. I think the student athlete and the kind of students our athletes are gets lost in that so we wanted to kind of separate that out and have a portion of our website devoted to the leadership and the community service and the the academic success of our student athletes and then have a site devoted to uh, um, the, what they do on the court or in the field and then and use that then to get people really excited about um, Aaron Henry sports. Right and there are two very distinct uh, divisions of, of a Division three athlete, mm -hmm. which are you know student and athlete. Yeah, and yeah. The student is very important to that yeah. as well. It's very important, especially here at Emory Henry. I think we have great athletes, but I know so many athletes who are just very good individuals, very good students, and very focused on their futures. And so that has to come out. And the only way to really bring that out was to emphasize that student athlete aspect of their lives. Well, how do you think the site has been received? You know, you said that the the alumni and the students were the people, the demographic you were trying to hit. How has it been received by those people? How has the, how has the community received it? Well, I think very well. We've gotten a lot of good um, response from people. They send in emails and then a lot of word of mouth response. I haven't heard any complaints about the sites. Although the site isn't perfect, there's still room for improvement. It's been amazingly well received. I think because of the improvements that we've made. It also, we ha you're able to measure the kind of visitation a site receives and we have been able to measure that the site every month gets 
6,000 unique visitors. Those are, the, those are people who have visited at least one time, and that's a pretty large number, and it's grown since we've gone online with GoWasps.com. So that's very encouraging, and that, you know, for a school this size and for an alumni population and a fan base, uh, that's a very impressive number, and we're looking forward to that growing. Well, obviously, that means there's an audience for it. Yeah. So, what do you think is drawing them there? What spe what, do you, what do you think is the best feature? You know, what do you think? Well, I it, I think it's probably the news uh, of the site. This because it's a fan site, it's very much geared toward covering the news of the uh, of the sports teams. There are events, feature stories about the the athletic programs, profiles about coaches and athletes, and I think that really engages the readers you know for everybody from parents to alumni to students to the athletes themselves but not just the news as it's written at, in words but also the news as it's given now in um, uh, the video content that we include the blogs that we have written there the um, uh, the uh, the games that we are able to broadcast on WEHC radio those that kind of content, the news about what's happening from event to event is really what's driving people to the site right now. If you were an opposing fan, if you're checking out our site, GoWasps.com, and you look at it, and you've been to other sites before, and you're trying to scout Emory and Henry before a game, you know, versus your team, what do you think you'd come away with? What would you, how do you think they'd appreciate that site? Well, I think they, they'd probably find a lot of information on that site. I, I, you know, I'd hope they'd be impressed by the site itself and impressed by the teams it represents, you know, uh, maybe even a little intimidated, but <laughs> I think they'd also find on those sites a lot of information uh, that's easily accessible to them, uh, some general information about the teams uh, in a page that's called recruiting, but also schedules and um, athlete profiles and um, uh, information about um, the stats from each of the athletic competitions. So there's a lot of information there, and one thing that I think is wonderful about this site is that it's very easily navigated so they could find it very quickly by simply clicking on a very obvious sports link and choosing the sport that they're interested in and going to that information. Well just before we wrap up anything that I left out that you want uh, our viewers to know about the site? Well I want to know that Chris Hatcher writes an excellent blog for the site that everybody should read but I also want them to know that it is very much a a, a, a team effort, this site itself. It's not just done by people in PR and uh, sports information. There are people like you and students here at Emory & Henry who are very much responsible for the content of the site. And it's very much an Emory & Henry uh, site. It's very much the home of the WASP because we all, in so many ways, contribute to it.